Hello everyone, my name is Ali. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. And in this video, we're going to talk about the day zero provisioning of EWC with the web UI. The provisioning can also be done through mobile app as well, but in the video, I'm just showcasing web UI. Uh, once the EWC is uh, set up, is up and running, the internal AP will join the controller and start broadcasting an SSID called Cisco provision with the last four digit of uh, the MAC address of the access point. As you can see here, uh, 5F9C. Uh, password is password. You log into that SSID. And you can see you'll get an IP address uh, if you have already configured a DHCP server. Or if not, then internal DHCP server will assign an IP address. Then you open a browser and go to mywifi.cisco.com and access the UI, web UI, and Password is Cisco. It will take you to the setup wizard. Uh, the country code is automatically populated through the domain, but you can also configure it. Username, password, you enter. Uh, the wireless management IP address is set to DHCP, but you can uh, configure a static IP address as well. Once we have uh, Configure the management IP address, then we will configure the wireless network, which is also a mandatory step. We will configure an employee. Employee can be a security type, can be a PSK or a dot one. So I'm just configuring a PSK here, which is a passphrase. And just add. Now, uh, this is not a mandatory step, but I already configured one, so I'm going to configure a guest uh, network as well. So we have a network type guest, and it's only a consent. Uh, again, we'll add it. Once we have added these networks, we can just click on finish. Finish the warning message pop up will show up uh, telling that the SSID is a square provision. We stop broadcasting and we have to connect to the uh, configured SSIDs. Uh, keep in mind that after this uh, process, AP won't reboot. And as you can see, the SSID will be start broadcasting after CAP app reset. You connect to that SSID, uh, log into the controller with the configured username password. We did it in, uh, in the provisioning process. Uh, you can see we have wireless LAN, which we created two of them, and the access point. Uh, we have uh, clients, we have rogues and interferers. So if you click on wireless LAN, we can see the ones we created. You can over here create another one as well. Uh, if you go to dashboard again, so you see the access point already joined. Now if you click on the client, which you're connected right now, you can see the ABC stats and the other statistics and details of the client and all the best practices are enabled. Uh, just to recapture what we uh, did, we configured the EWC through day zero by connecting to a Cisco Air provision, unique SSID with the last four digits of MAC address, right? That is new. It was not there before Mobility Express days. Uh, again, a new uh, a link or URL to access uh, the EWC UI is mywifi.cisco.com and you also don't need to configure the management IP address, wireless management IP address but to access uh, the GUI you can have it through DHCP uh, that is also new and also we, we took out a lot of uh, configuration which are mandatory in uh, Mobility Express like you know RF uh, or maybe you know NTP or you want to define a default gateway so we, we kept it very simple you can see that and the best of all there is no reboot required once you have configured all the uh, changes or done all the day zero provisioning once you click finish there is no reboot required it's just a cap up reset and the SSIDs will start broadcasting uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope this was helpful